Hey guys. <sighs> so I'm sitting here and I'm just like, kind of like just relaxing and stuff. And I was sitting here and I'm thinking to myself like, I'm looking around at the nursery and I'm looking at the babies and I got babies on the table being painted. Um, all my workstations are full and all my cribs are full, the baby beds, I mean the little baby bump beds, <laughs> so to speak. And I'm just sitting here and I'm looking at all the babies and I'm just thinking to myself like, I wouldn't have never thought that I would have a collection that is like 95% all my work. You know what I mean? Like I never even thought I would paint at all. I never, it was never a thought. And um, several artists, a couple artists, at least two artists or so, um, encouraged me to, to try it and was saying, you know, do it, you know, both in vinyl and silicone. Of course, silicone was definitely not in the cards for me. I just knew that that I would never touch that medium for sure. Partially because I couldn't afford it. And secondly, because I was just terrified of it. But with the frustrations of, you know, trying to get customs done and um, waiting on artists to finish my babies, I got, you know, I got the courage to give it a go. But, you know, it's funny because now, you know, people contact me all the time for customs. I get, like, I get a lot of messages, guys, from email to Instagram to Messenger on Facebook. I get a lot of messages daily. And a lot of them, actually, a lot of people do ask me to do customs. And where I feel so bad because I remember being that collector asking for customs, and I still ask people for like private orders because there are specific kits that I want and done by specific artists but I don't really get you know I don't really get that chance anymore um a lot of artists um are not taking customs or they don't really want to paint for another artist you know what I mean so it's, it's really you know challenging when it comes to that anyway now at that point. But I f I'll feel bad and that's kind of how I end up doing the customs, the silicone because I felt like people thought I was just being arrogant about it. Like I was just like, you know, like wanting somebody to beg me to do a freaking custom or something like that. And I didn't want that, that stigma placed on me, so to speak. So I kind of just started go ahead and, and taking it. Then I was taking the risk plus you know, I could use the money, so I did them. I don't, I don't hate the custom orders a lot of times, but it is a lot of pressure. I do prefer to just paint on my own, but um, I just, I just can't believe that I actually like my own work. <laughs> it is so weird. I like I said, I'm just like. Before, I just never thought I could do it. And, I mean, I'm just in awe. And, um, I remember when I used to talk to one of my favorite Reborn artists. She used to have so many dolls work in progress that wasn't finished. Or she would just be holding them and I would be like, why don't you just sell them? And Stephanie was like, I don't know, I guess she just, you know, she couldn't or she, you know, not couldn't because they wouldn't sell, but couldn't because she didn't feel like finishing certain ones or she didn't want to let certain ones go and stuff. And then I had another um, friend that painted um, 
and rooted dolls and she had like about 50 in her personal collection i was like oh my god how do you have that many dolls it's like because she really didn't sell at the time and then she had like at the while she started having like a few customers that she would sell to only and but she had like 50 dolls and it was so amazing that she kept so many dolls of her own work and i'm like wow but you know now it's like i kind of get it because you kind of want to keep them all but this hobby has so many different twists and turns to it and i know a lot of people you know a lot of people go in and say oh i'm gonna paint my own and sometimes you know it may not they may not be that good at it and some people may not be that good like they have potential but they may not be good at it at first and then eventually they get really good at it and then there's you know some that just go in it and just kill it first try i don't feel that i was just great at it at first try i don't feel like that i feel like i gradually got better and better and i think i still got a lot more to learn and i just it's just a matter of taking risks and experimenting and exploring um someone messaged me about um like taking care of the hair and taking care of the babies and stuff like that. And since I paint my own, I'm definitely a lot more free with handling my babies because it's like I I painted them myself. So, you know, maybe I could fix it myself. I don't know what I'd be thinking, but I feel definitely more free. But even as a collector, you know, there's babies that I could tell that I could probably do more to. Like a lot of people be like, oh, you shouldn't change the babies that often. But my babies are so heavily textured. Like, Aspen is so textured, I'm not worried about him going shiny or anything. I can change him two, three times a day if I want. He'll be fine. Um, some babies may be less textured. You may not want to do as much back and forth with them. As far as the hair on the Reborns, once they seal in the inside, are pretty good. Even when they're not sealed. Like, I want to pull the hair out of the one doll that I got that I started rooting but I tried to tuck on it the other day and it just wasn't coming out so I think I'm just gonna have to finish rooting it um because I want to sell her eventually I think so I'm just gonna have to finish rooting her um yeah so I don't know like I said it's just it's all just really amazing. I, right now, like, I only put water in my baby's hair. Sometimes if I'm going to put anything, I'll put a little bit of fabric softener and water together when I'm, um, like, trying to make it curl, the curls be defined and stay. And it'll leave a natural sheen on it. Um, but lately, the babies that I have just only require water. Um... But yeah, I just, I don't feel like my dolls are a lot of maintenance. I know a lot of people talk about, I don't feel like my silicone or my reworns are like extreme maintenance. I feel like they are high-end pieces of art. And, um, and when I say high-end, in this moment, I'm referencing price-wise right now. Um, I feel like, you know, and also like they're unique. These, these dolls are very unique. Each one of them because, you know, most times because they're hand painted, you're not going to get the exact replica of the baby. And so you want to, you know, reserve them, you know, be very, you know, not reserve. That's the wrong word. Um, preserve, I think. <laughs> them I don't know you want to protect them and make sure they, they stay intact as much as possible because the the high the the likelihood of you getting it replaced and me in the sack saying it's highly unlikely and for me sometimes which is so weird the least little thing that change on a baby could possibly change the bond um like I love Sasha's hair and everything but I, I think I was more bonded to her when she was just bald. And it's kind of weird. But I love her still. But I loved her 
even more bald. And that's really weird. That is like one of the first times that ever happened to me where they come back from rooting and the bond is not, is the same. It kind of changed. And maybe I need to spend more time with her. But um, she's not going anywhere or anything. Um, and her rooting is phenomenal. Like literally one strain at a time. And um, the hair is amazing. It's some amazing hair. I just, I guess I got so used to seeing her bald. And then I think I changed, maybe I changed her waiting to, like, I don't know. But I love her. I really do. I still really love her a whole lot. It's just that it kind of changed. I mean, she just looked different with hair. I guess they all do, but you know what I mean. Anyway, um, I don't know. It's like I said, it's just it's just different things that just happen. And, you know, the different things in the, um, with the hobby. I don't know. I, I find this so calming when I'm not on video. After I get done with the video, sometimes I'll just hold the babies. And I love rubbing in their hair. I don't know, because it just really feels like I'm rubbing a baby head. And his head is shaped so realistically. So, like, I can feel the little... I don't know, little little lumps, like, I don't know. And so it's like, it just, you know, it would just be what I would do with the real baby and they would just fall asleep, I don't know. But anyway, guys, I am rambling, but, oh man, I am so thankful. And I am so thankful that you guys continue to watch me and follow me and support me and buy my work. It's just, I'm just so thankful. Um, it's truly an outlet. I I have to deal with so much, like most of us do, right? In our personal lives. And to have this, I call it an underground world that I can escape into, is just amazing. So I've learned to try not to pollute it with so much negative energy. To where I feel like I'm jumping out of one fire to the next. I want to keep it, you know, where I relax. So, I just feel like, you know, it's just it's just the perfect escape. <laughs> right? It's the perfect escape. Anyway. Oh, look at you. You look like you got a little bump. Like... Okay, so I textured my babies. I textured their whole head and everything, even though they're bald. So when she roots, his scalp really, really looks like a scalp. And it even looked like, like he got a little bump, but really it's just the texture. <laughs> but it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love this baby. I love all my babies though. I am. I, I will say that right now, I couldn't even say oh yeah I was supposed to do rate me the rating the babies I'm gonna have to do that when Ash when Abby get back I'm gonna rate rate them all but it's gonna be hard because I really love all the babies right now hey he got a little every now and then I get a little paintbrush thingy the bristle there it is I got it <laughs> <laughs> and I was on him. I know it's like he's not silicone. Why are you picking stuff off of him? But anyway, this little guy. All right. All right. See you guys later.